music, uh, uh, it's almost become, it's almost moving from a noun to a verb, where it's much more a thing that you do rather than just something that you listen to. It's like a playground. It's like, you know, what the skateboarders did to the uh, urban environment when they realized we can go and use it for our own interest. So this is a great, uh, exciting moment for, you know, for study and for the people who are living it. It's easier to find your tribe, easier to find people that like similar music to you and easier to find fantastic artists. Black Note MIDI, extreme drone music, um, songified memes. I mean, uh, there's just so much stuff there that is, uh, yeah, it's, it's playful and creative. Um, and that's something that YouTube has um, encouraged. Because there's no sort of stopgap. There's no sort of, you know, it's all a bit fresh and raw on YouTube. People can get an awful lot closer to music to the point where they can be part of the experience, where they can, they have the technology to edit and change, collaborate with artists, even without artists' permission, pull stuff together, create new tracks, create videos for tracks that they love. And this is an event now, this is a cultural event that's happened on YouTube with a community of fans who are engaging with this cultural moment in a meaningful way and creating it really. So it's a collaborative, uh, Thing that happens. Recently on Radio 1 we've been supporting this band called BTS and they're a South Korean boy band and they're huge on YouTube, millions of views. I think they recently broke the record for the amount of views in two days and thanks to the fans we found them. So radio stations are also finding new artists. What YouTube has done for me more than anything is just given me that feeling of instant access where I know that there is anything that I want to get hold of out there. You know, I'm, in a, I'm a collector of old vinyl, punk and jazz and soul and hip hop. It's all on YouTube, you know, it's entire collections of amazing stuff that I would never have been able to buy um, is there for me. When you first learn to DJ, you kind of need to know the things that you can do in case it doesn't work out when you're playing live. So like little tips and tricks and you can sit for hours and I learned so much from people across the world. The biggest impact that YouTube has had uh, has been putting power into the hands of individual artists to potentially connect with mass audiences and really leveling the playing field uh, for everybody. Any little bit like dark corner of music making has suddenly got a little light shone on it and you can find it and you can look at these places and these, you know, these communities of practice. And to me, that has been um, priceless as a music educator. The biggest impact that YouTube has had on pop culture is choice. And I think YouTube is free, it's free entry, easy entry. Anyone can be on there, anyone can use it and anyone can click thumbs up on things that they like. And it's popular by committee now. I think it's fairer.